This is filter bank made by McDSB. It's a plugin that does EQ and filter configurations. This here is a stereo four band equalizer. Um, you have your standard stuff like you have high pass filtering, uh, shelf EQ, parametric, high shelf. What makes ours different, let's go on to the shelf EQ, is it all of our sections of equalizers and filters are very configurable. For example, you've seen frequency and you've seen gain, but how about controlling the slope of the shelf and EQ, or the overshoot, or the peaking, the undershoot, or the dip? The three primary components for every shelf and EQ design ever made, hence we can do every shelf and EQ ever made. Um, moving along to the compressor. The compressor bank is in the same vein, um, has three configurations of compressors, a compressor, a compressor with a pre-filter, and a compressor with an enhancer circuit. Um, like the EQ, it has standard controls like threshold and compression. It also has a variable knee control. It's based on actual knees from a DBX165, hard knee compressor, knee compressors, and the LA2A, LA3A, and other Class A opto compressors. This bite control is actually the only compressor in the world that offers it. Bite allows the fast transits of the signal to go through uncompressed while the rest of the compression response is maintained. Um, this is very useful for like say heavily compressed drum sounds where you want the snare to bite right through and the rest of the stuff to be compressed as you would expect. Um, again, you got a pre-filter, frequency, you even get the cue going. If you listen to like some of the female diva vocals that have the resonating high pass filter, it's done with the compressor bank. Um, next, MC2000. Your mastering clients will like it. Multi-band compression. For every band color-coded here, the matching compression curve is over here. You can click inside the graphic and adjust the frequency bands here, and you can tweak all the controls here. As you see all the other controls move here, it has a master linking, where if one of the bands you want to be the master, every other control can be updated relative to that band, but then when the master band is moved, they all move relative to that. Very useful for working quickly, especially with a multi-band compressor that has a lot of control and configurations. And finally, uh, new for this year, it'll be shipping ready on the HD Pro Tool systems, Synthesizer 1. It's a wave-based modular synthesizer. Each oscillator has the three different waveforms. The waveforms can be standard things like sines or cosines or triangles. You can also actually import and sample your own waveforms. So, so for example, I have samples from PPG, Prophet 5, Prophet PS, Korg Wave Station, pop those in. You can see the complicated waveforms here that are created. That's done by this wave edit page. Users can sample waveforms. It has some sampled audio here in the pink. They can scroll around the sampled audio, compress, stretch it, use it. They can add it to existing waveforms. They can come in and draw their own waveforms. Very tweaky. Um, this product will ship with a thousand presets. So for the timid folks, they got presets. And for the real synth diehards, they can dig right in. Um, retail price is $6.95. We'll be shipping in March of this year.